Hi friends, welcome back to Veltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. My name is Vincent. Today we are going to discuss about weld symbols and welding symbols. Yeah, these are two different terminology. We will explain about that. You should understand the importance of understanding the weld symbols or welding symbols. Let us start. Okay friends, so as promised last time, we will discuss about fabrication drawings and uh, weld symbols and welding symbols which are a part of fabrication drawings. Welcome to Weltech QC the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies and I am Vincent here. So we will discuss about the welding symbols which are applied on fabrication drawings, various fabrication drawings. For example, now you can see this fabrication, it's a part of fabrication drawings and the weld details are given. Like you can see the weld symbols here, here here you can see the weld symbols here you can see the weld symbols these are fillet weld symbols and uh, these are square groove symbols these are weld all around symbols everywhere you will be able to see now in this drawing also you can see here is a bevel groove weld symbol is given and here it is explained about how it is typical and you can just go through these drawings. This is a field weld symbol. Means this welding will be done at site. Particularly this one will be done at site. And all this detail. So we will try to understand how this, how can we understand the importance and applications of the welding symbols and weld symbols. Let us understand the difference between weld symbol and welding symbol. A weld symbol indicates the required type of weld only like uh, a groove weld, fillet weld, slot weld or uh, back weld, backing weld and so on. Just we'll see that most commonly used weld symbols in uh, fabrication drawings are fillet. The most commonly used one is fillet weld symbol. This is the fillet weld symbol. Okay, you will be able to see either on top of top side of the reference line or bottom side or both side also. Similarly, this one square groove weld, bevel groove weld, V groove weld and this will continue. There are a lot more like basic weld symbols are shown here. Square groove, scarf groove, V groove, bevel groove, U groove, J groove, flare V groove. These are the weld symbols, not welding symbols. Welding symbol means there will be more components into that, more elements into that. These are the supporting supplementary symbols on welding symbols. We will explain all this one by one, maybe one in part two, part two three, if, if required. Now let us see the welding symbol. A welding symbol includes the weld symbol and other supplementary information. Well symbol, just we have gone through that well symbol and welding symbol means it's a total picture of how this welding is to be done. What kind of welding, what size of the welding, what length of the welding and uh, what is the process to be used. All this will come if, if necessary. So uh, we will see the elements of a complete welding symbol. These are reference line, arrow line, arrow, basic weld symbol, 
dimensions and other data supplementary symbols just so we have gone through that one finish symbol and tail and any other specification process or other references which can be recorded which can be noted uh, on the tail part now this is the the weld symbol the complete weld symbol and its elements and locations elements we have just uh, explained to you this is the reference line this horizontal line is the reference line and this is the arrow line and here the weld symbol will come here either it is a fillet weld or uh, it is a groove weld v groove weld what type of weld that will come and on left hand side the weld size will come weld size and the groove depth of the groove etc will come on the uh, the left side and on right hand side this will be length and pitch of the weld length of the weld and the pitch of the weld pitch means uh, if suppose if it is an intermittent weld or stitch weld as it is commonly called uh, you weld 2 inches leave 4 inches then i can weld 2 inches like that that is called pitch of the weld we will we'll explain all those things to try to un make, try to make you understand very simple uh, way so now for example now always it is not necessary to show the whole welding symbol including tail or uh, this is field weld symbol the weld all around, all around symbol all these are not necessary always whenever it is required you have to give it now for example in this one only we have the reference line and arrow and this is the weld symbol which is the fillet weld symbol here here we are we are giving on top of the arrow when the weld symbol is on top of the arrow that means your welding will be other side other side of the arrow shown will will come to the, that also more simply we will try to understand and on right hand side you can mention whatever the length is required and what are the pitches is required that you can mention we will explain in a much simpler way now yes here this weld symbol shows okay this is a what type of joint is this this is a t joint on t joint this weld symbol is for fillet weld symbol you can see that uh, previously i have shown that weld symbols various type of weld symbols you can go through that and this is the fillet weld symbol on left hand side this is a vertical line always that will be on left hand side and this is fillet weld and on left hand side of the symbol it is 8 mm is the size of the weld and is the arrow you can see the arrow so in this case if the weld symbol is on top of top of the reference line that means the here on this side not here so here it is shown on the top of the weld uh, uh, reference line that means you have to weld here you have to weld here like what is shown here other side other side of the arrow when the weld symbol is on top of the arrow top of the reference line and uh, so you have to weld not arrow side but other side here here that means here now here it is they weld it is shown here now we will see other way of doing it now this is previous side this shown same fillet weld this is fillet weld symbol but shown on the bottom side of the below of the reference line below of the reference line it is shown that means 
whenever any weld symbol is shown below of the reference line you have to weld it on the arrow side so you should try to distinguish how the arrow side and other side is explained this symbol is if it is on this side above the reference line that means then you will have to weld here which is shown last time in the other slide here in this case the weld is to be done on the arrow side okay like here here the welding is to be done that means here because the weld symbol is showing on below of the reference line and the arrow is here that means wherever the arrow is showing that is called arrow side and your welding is to be done 8 mm welding is to be done on the arrow side here it is done okay now let us see the other way of doing it now in this case you have to weld both the side so the weld symbol for the fillet weld is shown on the both the side and both the side 8 mm weld so here it is shown both the side now let us see how the length is to be shown now you can see this here this is the same fillet weld 8 mm fillet weld symbol and size is 8 mm and here on right hand side of the symbol please note right hand side of the fillet weld it is 50 mm length of the weld then you have to leave from the center of the weld you have to leave 150 to the next next part of the weld that means here now you have welded here 50 mm from this center of the weld this set to this center the distance should be 150 this distance should be 150 is shown here and this length of the weld is 50 mm so this is intermittent weld or no, commonly called as stitch weld okay fillet weld is done intermittent as an intermittent weld so friends uh, this uh, we will conclude the part one and there are more to come we will explain how all this will be shown like how uh, the field weld symbol is to be shown how the finishing symbol is to be shown and how the groove weld symbol is to be shown and how the multi reference lines should be shown all this will be coming in the next so until then goodbye see you in the next thank you